Are you looking to create views for your app when, let's say, a user searches for something and they just can't find it? Similarly, let's say your app is encountering errors or failures when retrieving data and you want to show them a meaningful message to let your users know the exact problem. Or when you don't want a blank page for your shopping cart when a user hasn't added any products yet. Stick with me and I'm going to show you how you can add it to your app right now. The new content unavailable view has a variable called search. Let's try this variable first. Let's use the searchable list that we used in the last video. And under the dot searchable modifier, we're going to add the dot overlay modifier. Inside the dot overlay modifier, let's add an if statement that checks whether search results is empty. Inside of the if statement, all we need to do is add the content unavailable view dot search. But that's not all. We can do more. We can go a bit further with this search function. It would be incredibly useful if we can show a user that whatever they typed into search was not found instead of a generic message. Well, we can actually do just that. Let's update our search variable to use the search function. Using the search function, all you need to do is add the text parameter. To display what was typed into the search field when content is not available, we can pass our search text variable into this. It's that easy. We now took our empty state view just a bit further with a minor update. Now, you might be thinking, hey, Craig, my app doesn't even have a search feature. I get it, but don't worry. I assure you, this isn't all about search. But if you're enjoying what you've seen so far, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button to help others discover this video. When you need to add a personal touch, the content unavailable view offers an initializer for your custom needs. Let's look at an example I showed earlier where you have an app that encountered some networking errors or feed issues. We'll use the content unavailable view, add a label inside of it, and give it a description. Need more? Well, you can add an SS symbol to the label to add a visual element. Okay, wait. If you got a designer and using an SS symbol just won't fly, you can use a custom one by updating the following. You still need more? Well, the content unavailable view lets you add buttons to your views. So if you wanna guide your users to a particular page, you can by doing the following. Now, instead of having a blank shopping cart when a user hasn't added any products yet, we can use actions to add a button. Keep in mind that content unavailable view only works with list, navigation view, tab view, and scroll view. For anything outside of these, crafting a custom solution is the way to go. But hey, look on the bright side. These are four views you won't have to create a custom view for. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.